turn to pray I have to trust his heart So I lift my
we can almost memorize these to say to people, you know, we're just like, you need to be available to God, but in our hearts, we're just saying that, and we don't have any meaning behind it. And I was thinking about when I'm at school, I love to learn, but I can memorize a lot of stuff, and I can memorize a page, and I can quote that page, but sometimes I can't tell you what it actually means. It is not until I understand what it means that I can fully understand the page, because what good is saying the words if I have no meaning behind it? So this is not what I'm testifying about, but this is what I hope to do tonight. I hope to show you a concept that would open your eyes and that would help you to understand something better. Um, I was thinking about this next song. It's called Available. And uh, the first lines of it say, Who am I that a king would know my name, that he would know me and choose me just the same? And I was thinking about, you know, how could a king know me? And I was trying to figure out something that could illustrate this. And I don't know how many of you have done this. Maybe it's just something I've done. But have you ever looked up your house on Google Earth? <laughs> and you, you can like, you know, you start out and you might be like outside of the earth. And you zoom in a little more and you're a little closer to maybe one continent. Zoom in some more. And eventually, after zooming so far, you can get to the house. You know? You can see the street that you live on and your house is a little blurry. Can't quite see all the bushes and stuff outside of it. But you can see it. And I was thinking, you know, sometimes that's how we are. Sometimes we become like that. We become just that house. We're, we're a vessel, but God knows that vessel because he made us. But how can you know something if you've never been on the inside? And so tonight, this water bottle, this is us. And God, he wants to know us like we, he's never known anybody before. He has chosen to love us personally. You know, but this water bottle right now, I can tell you that I made this water bottle because there is no identification on this. Right now, you have no idea what's on the inside because it's not open. So I was thinking, you know, and God really laid this on my heart. How many of us are, have, have become like this? We're, we claim to be our own. We, we're not open to God. We close ourselves off. Yeah. Nobody can see what's on the inside. Are we available? You know, until somebody is on the inside of that house, they have no idea. That's right. they, have, they don't know that house. They can right. see it from the outside. But it's what's on the inside that matters. And so, I grab this one. Once God knows you, he puts a label on you. Because you've said, here I am. Here I am. I'm yours. So he puts his name on you. And when you do that, you open yourself to where that he can pour himself in. And you become full of him to where you can minister to other people. So tonight, I pray that you would... Listen to the words of the song. Really let it sink in. I want you to be available. Be able to open yourself up to God. Let him know you. Let him pour himself into you so that others can enjoy you. So just worship with us tonight. Thank you. 